We are now three weeks away from the official start date of the high school football season, and we are nowhere close to finding out if there will be a season, if it's going to be pushed back, or like the UIL has maintained, at least up until this point, played on schedule. This coming after a record-setting week in terms of COVID-19 cases, not only here in El Paso, but the entire state of Texas. This also coming a week after the city of El Paso put out an updated order that no athletic activity in high schools will be permitted until in-person learning begins after September 7th. Other cities have followed suit and in a live interview with our sister station KLBK in Lubbock, Governor Greg Abbott said canceling the high school football season isn't the outcome he wants to see, but it's also not off the table. In so many regions across the state of Texas, uh, these high school programs uh, have their student athletes come back and uh, to begin the workout process only to find that many of their athletes are testing positive for COVID-19 posing challenges for the team to be able to gather together. And so it just depends on what the status of COVID will be at that particular time. So let me go back. If we can all work together to slow the spread, it might be able to provide the environment where, where athletics and things like band and other activities like that will be allowed to take place. Once again, the UIL continues to tell their member schools the plan is starting practice on August 3rd in accordance with the city of El Paso's updated order we wouldn't likely see football games here in El Paso till October. The New Mexico State football team is still looking for another opponent after the Pac-12 announced that they have opted to play a conference-only schedule in 2020. But now the Aggies, they're looking for another defensive lineman. Roy Lopez, the Aggies' best defensive player, announced on Twitter this morning that he will enter the transfer portal. Lopez has been taking part in summer workouts with the Aggies and is a huge hole to fill Quite literally, the 6'2", 300-pounder had 63 total tackles in 2018, 12 and a half of them coming for loss. Lopez was injured most of last season. He will be immediately eligible as a graduate transfer.